AAA says fatal hit and run crashes have increased 60% since 2009. Nearly 65% of those killed were pedestrians or cyclists. Sean Gallagher has the story. Hit and runs are higher than they've ever been in the United States. AAA says that there's more than one per minute, and that increase can be felt right here in Milwaukee, despite having some of the harshest penalties of surrounding states. I think it's a combination of things, engineering, education, and obviously enforcement. Assistant Chief Michael Brunson says hit and runs aren't just a problem for residents, but a costly problem for the city. In the last five years, they've had $6 million in hit and run damages. And we will make sure that there's consequences for individuals who engage in this type of behavior. Hit and run offenders face up to $1,000 in fines and six months in jail. But for crashes like the one that killed a mother and her daughter last October at 35th and Capitol, it can be a $100,000 fine and up to 25 years in jail. I have a, a young family. I have a three-year-old daughter and my wife. You know, when they leave out in the morning, that's you know, the, the, the most concerning thing that I have on my mind. 35th and Capitol is right in Alderman Khalif Rainey's district. To be named the worst intersection in the state hits home for him and others who frequent the Capitol corridor. I myself have even encountered some uh, scares there myself. You can't even stand close to the, the sidewalk like to look down and see if the bus coming because you take a chance of getting clipped by a car. And Khalif Rainey says that the city can look at ways they can improve the streets, but he says this is the greatest tool we have. Everybody needs to take a look in the mirror at their own driving habits and slow down, pay attention and put down the phone. At 35th and Capitol, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.